It is time for Mike on the Money. We always love it when Mike Giordano, financial advisor with Williams Wealth Management, can come. And today, inflation. There's a new report out that shows that inflation continues to fall. I don't know if fall, come down. Overall, prices have risen less than 5% in the last year. So, Mike, inflation's coming down. What does this tell us, though, about the path forward? Is it going to continue on that trend, do you think? It's hard to say. Inflation is a little bit like beauty. It's in the eye of the beholder, right? I mean, some people like shaggy mutts and other people say absolutely no way. I got two shaggy mutts, so I totally get it. Um, but that's the same thing with inflation. You can find a number within the inflation report today that shows inflation's cooling and other ones that show it's not co- cooling quite as much. Headline inflation, which is what gets all the attention, it went up over 9%, remember, last year. Now it's come back down under 5%. So it's rocketed up and down. Yes, prices are still going up, just not going up as fast as they were. But if you look at that area, the less volatile parts of inflation, they only got up into the sixes and they haven't come down near as much. So it's really hard to say, yes, inflation's cooling, but how fast it's cooling is is more difficult to decipher yet. And so interest rates are the things that the Fed, you know, kind of seems to have an eye on. What does this mean in terms of what the Fed's going to do with interest rates? Yeah, th- th- this is this is the conundrum here because uh, the Fed doesn't really like to pay attention to that headline number because that's like following around a three-year-old all day and trying to live through them, right? You're you up, can relate you're to that. Absolutely. You, you, you're happy, you're sad, you're happy, you're sad, you're happy, you're sad. You can't get anything done trying to operate like that. So they like to look at the core areas. They like to look at those areas that are less volatile, and those areas haven't really come down near as much as as they might hope. So the good thing is they are cooling a little bit, which means they shouldn't be hiking interest rates more from here, hopefully. Uh, But they're not coming down fast enough that you could start seeing rate cuts. So in terms of mortgage rates, in terms of car loans, all that kind of stuff, you're probably holding in a position somewhat close to where we are right now.